Hello everybody, welcome to Mastering Solutions where we're taking the stress out of your science classes. This question is basically a review of what we're going over in the chapter where they want to make sure that you understand the idea of the particle model. So the particle model is basically we're taking an x-axis and then we're taking snapshots along that and using little dots to represent where something is along that as we consistently take photos over the same period of time or little snapshots of where the position is along that x-axis. So the closer something is, you can imagine in that same period of time, they didn't go very far, so they're going pretty slow. If we speed up and there's a bigger distance over the same period of time, we must have gone quicker because we covered a larger distance. So this one covered a pretty large distance right here, so it was going pretty quick and then it slowed down. The answers that they gave for this question to make sure that we understand the idea behind it. So this first one here, we're starting out at zero, and as we go from zero to one, they covered a relatively decent distance, so they're moving, they're running, and then between one and two, it's shorter, so they must have slowed down. And then between two and three, that's e about the same. So they kind of slowed down a little bit. They hesitated. And then between three and four, it's quicker. And then five, four to five, it's an even larger distance as well. So they start out and then kind of hesitate. And then they start going quick again. So this, if you imagine with a softball player analogy, is kind of like they hesitated if they got caught in a pickle and then they ran to the base. This next one down here from zero to one, it's a short distance and then larger and then larger and larger as we go along. So this is like they're starting out at a base and then they're picking up speed as they're running to the other base this way. This one here, if you look at all the dots, they're about the same distance all the way across. So this one is, if you can imagine, is the baseball player, excuse me, the softball player running consistently they're not speeding up or slowing down they're just running at the same speed the whole time between the bases and then the last one down here they're starting out pretty quickly because they covered a relatively large distance between zero and one then between one and two it's a little bit closer so they're slowing down and then three and four and five and so this is the correct answer where they're starting out quickly and then they're sliding and slowing down and then at number five they are stopping and this is the correct answer.